So let's see how we can add unit tests or integration tests into our current state of the Electron application. Luckily, the boilerplate that we use comes with this more or less pre-configured, but we still have to install a couple of steps to make this work. So first off, we have to install the Vue.js plugin for the Vue CLI called unit jest. So we can install this using view add unit jest. All right, as you can see, we also have a new folder that got created for us called tests. And in here we have a unit folder and this example that's back.js that does some simple testing. All right, we will remove that already because what we need is a bit different from this. Next, to actually test our Electron application, there is something available called Spectron. So Spectron is basically like a test runner for Electron, which allows us to uh, get access to like the Electron windows. And under the hood, it uses um, Chrome to basically render our application while still giving us access to our Electron functionality. Now, in preparation of this video, I ran into an issue with the latest version of Spectron. So unfortunately, um, we have to downgrade Electron to version eight so that we can install Spectron. So I hope that this will be resolved soon. But for the time being, for this tests, we're going to downgrade Electron to version eight, and then we can install Spectron. So if we take a look here, um, and take a look at Spectron, then the versions always have to match. So here's a little table where we can see which Electron version requires which Spectron version. So if we downgrade to Electron 8, because the latest version has this issue, unfortunately, then we have to use Spectron version 10. So we can go in here and we just add Spectron and then version 10, 0, 0, and then install these dependencies as well. All right, now that Spectron is installed, let's try and add our first test. So in our tests unit directory, let's copy a file over from our boilerplate. So if we go to the boilerplate repository where we created the initial um, view app, then there's this testing and debugging part and under testing, you can find a little snippet that you can just copy and use. So we're just going to copy this. It uses just for the testing. All right. And then in here, we are going to create a new file called electron.spec.js and we paste this in here. So what this test is currently doing, if we run this, the test is called a window is created. Then we just do some logging that it actually works. And we expect that the window count of our application client is going to be one. So let's see and run this test. So uh, you can run these tests. If you take a look at the package JSON, there's now a new script called test colon unit. So we can just run yarn test unit to run these tests. All right, so this took in total 13 seconds. So those tests are not the fastest because they need to actually build the application and then it gets started and then we have the assertions, but as you can see, we have this one test, a window is created and it passed. And um, yeah, so that's how we were able to actually create our first test suite. So now let's take a look at how we can actually write some useful tests that not only test that our application starts.